Hello, traders and interested minds. Welcome to Basic Knowledge, your one-stop destination for understanding the complexities of the FX market. You've come to the perfect place if you're a seasoned trader navigating the ups and downs of the market, or someone looking to get started. Today marks the beginning of a thorough series delving into the basics of Forex trading, beginning with the question, what is Forex? Join us on this fascinating journey as we lay the groundwork for your knowledge of the currency market. This is Basic Knowledge, where we break it down one video at a time for you. If you are interested in getting educated with the basic knowledge of Forex trading, then sit back and relax, and make sure you watch the video till the end. Before you enter the Forex market as a beginner, you need to understand the fundamentals. To also answer the question that many people have. Can you make money trading Forex? The answer is straightforward. Yes, you can make money trading Forex, but you can also lose money. If you want to learn how to be profitable and lose as little as possible in the Forex market, I strongly advise you to watch this video and take notes. To begin, let us define Forex. Forex, or foreign exchange, is the decentralized global market where all of the world's currencies trade. I know you may be wondering why it is necessary to understand Forex trading. So brace up, because by the end of this video, you'll have a firm grasp on the fundamentals and why Forex is such a powerful market. To put it in simple terms, Forex is basically the exchange of one currency for another at an agreed-upon exchange rate. It is the world's largest and most liquid financial market, with a daily trading volume of over $6 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Now let's see, who are the big participants in this massive market? We have central banks, financial institutions, businesses, and individual investors like you and me. Because of the various time zones around the world, the Forex market runs 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. Currency pairs constitute the heart of Forex trading. Each transaction involves the simultaneous purchase of one currency and the sale of another. The first currency in the pair is known as the base currency, while the second is known as the quote currency. To put this into perspective, in the euro to US dollar pair, for example, the euro is the base currency and the US dollar is the quote currency. It is important to note this if you want to start trading in the Forex market. Let me now discuss a critical characteristic associated with Forex trading. Leverage. In Forex trading, leverage refers to the ability to control a large position in the market with a relatively small amount of capital. It's basically a loan granted to the trader by the broker, allowing them to increase their chances of making returns, or losses, on an investment. Leverage is expressed as a ratio, such as 50 to 1, 100 to 1, or even higher. Here's a simple example to illustrate how leverage works. Let's say you have $1,000 in your trading account, and you decide to use 50 to 1 leverage. With this leverage, you can control a position size of $50,000, that is $1,000 multiplied by 50. This means that for every $1 in your account, you control $50 in the market. Understand? While leverage can magnify profits, it also increases the risk of significant losses. Traders should approach leverage with caution and use risk management strategies to protect their capital. It's crucial to understand that while leverage provides the opportunity for enhanced returns, it also heightens the volatility and potential for rapid losses in the Forex market. We will discuss risk management later within the series, keep watching. As a result, understanding margin and risk management is important to profitable trading in the Forex market. Each Forex market participant has different goals. Central banks are interested in stabilizing their country's currency. Financial institutions seek profit opportunities, and retail traders such as ourselves frequently seek to profit from price movements. Understanding these motivations can provide us with important insights into market dynamics. Central banks play an important role in the Forex market, with the primary goal of maintaining currency stability in their respective countries. Central banks use various monetary policy tools to influence the supply and demand for their currency, such as interest rates and open market operations. They intervene in the Forex market to stabilize or adjust the exchange rate so that it is consistent with their economic goals. Financial institutions, such as large banks and hedge funds, on the other hand, participate in the Forex market to seek profit opportunities. These institutions frequently engage in market speculation in order to profit from price movements. They may engage in currency trading as part of their investment portfolios in order to profit from exchange rate fluctuations. Financial institutions also provide liquidity to the market, allowing for more seamless transactions. Retail traders, which include individual traders like you and me, 
are frequently motivated by the desire to profit from short-term price movements. Retail traders buy and sell currency pairs after analyzing market trends, technical indicators, and other factors. Retail traders typically have less capital than central banks and large financial institutions. As we conclude our exploration of the Forex market, keep in mind that trading success requires education, discipline, and a continuous commitment to learning. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please leave any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in the comments section below. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Forex Trading Basics. Keep an eye out for our next video, in which we'll go over advanced trading strategies. For real-time updates, follow us on Telegram, TikTok, and Twitter. Have fun trading, and I'll see you in the next one.